so here is another question so it is given that a geyser uh, heats water flowing at a rate of 2 kg per minute from 30 degrees celsius to 70 degrees celsius if the geyser operates on a gas burner what is the rate of combustion of the fuel so it is given the extra information that the heat of combustion uh, of the fuel used in the gas burner that is equal to 8 into 10 to the power 3 joule per gram and the specific heat of water is 4.2 joule per gram per degree celsius so we have to calculate the rate of combustion of fuel in the gas burner so here there are two separate parts first is the water which is heated okay and then we have the fuel which undergoes combustion these two separate parts we have to combine so for the water the mass of water which is flowing per minute that is equal to 2 kg per minute okay so here everything is in grams so it's better that we convert it into grams so 2000 gram per minute okay then the initial temperature of water that is 30 degree celsius the final temperature is 70 degree celsius so the increase in temperature from 30 to 70 that is equal to STI 40 degree celsius okay so the amount of heat required to heat 2000 grams of water flowing per minute from 30 degrees celsius to 70 degrees celsius that is equal to the heat required is equal to mw cw delta t where cw is the specific heat of water it is given 4.2 joule per gram per degree celsius so it is equal to 2000 grams 4.2 joule per gram per degree celsius into 40 so it is equal to 3360 0, 0 joules per minute so per minute we require 33600 joules this is the amount of heat required to heat the water okay to heat water from 30 to 70 degrees celsius okay now this heat is to be supplied by the combustion of fuel in the gas burner so the heat of combustion of the fuel that is equal to 8 into 10 to the power 3 joules per gram it means that when one gram of this fuel it undergoes combustion it releases 8 into 10 to the power 3 joules of energy but per minute we require 33600 joules so the rate of combustion of fuel which we require for this operation is equal to the heat required to heat water from 30, uh, 30 to 70 and the heat of combustion so that is equal to 336 0 0 joule per minute by 
एट इंटू टेन टू द पावर थ्री ओके दिस जूल पर ग्राम सो इट इज कमिंग अराउंड फोर्टी टू ओके फोर्टी टू ग्राम्स पर मिनट सो द रेट ऑफ कंबस्टन ऑफ फ्यूल इज फोर्टी टू ग्राम्स पर मिनट रेट ऑफ कंबस्टन ऑफ द फ्यूल सो टू मेंटेन दिस होल ऑपरेशन पर मिनट फोर्टी टू ग्राम्स ऑफ दिस फ्यूल हैज टू अंडर गो कंबस्टन ओके दिस इज द आंसर so here is another question it is given 0.75 gram of petroleum is burnt in a calorimeter which contains 2 kg of water and has a water equivalent of 500 grams and the rise in temperature is 3 degree celsius determine the calorific value of petroleum okay then it is given to take the specific heat of water is equal to 1 calorie per gram per degree celsius so here there is the important concept of water equivalent so we'll see how we'll use that so the situation is 0.75 gram of petroleum just a fuel here used is burnt in a calorie meter okay so the calorie meter it has a water equivalent of 500 g so if you remember the definition of water equivalent the concept of water equivalent so it is the mass of water which requires the same amount of heat as required by that substance which in this case the calorie meter whatever the material of the calorie meter it will require the same heat for the same rise in temperature as this 500 g of water so instead of using the mass of the calorie meter and the specific heat of the calorie meter we are using water equivalent as a substitute so by definition this is the concept of this is why the concept of water equivalent is there so we can substitute an equivalent mass of water in place of that particular material which will require the same amount of heat for the same rise in temperature as that material so it is the same so here in place of mass of the calorie meter and specific heat of the calorie meter which is not given but what is given water equivalent of the calorie meter this is water equivalent of calorie meter so here we'll use in place of mass we'll use water equivalent and in place of specific heat of calorie meter we'll use specific heat of water so it has 2 kg of water that is 2000 grams of water let's say and for the calorie meter it has a water equivalent of 500 grams okay so there is a rise in temperature of 3 degree celsius so this fuel burning the petroleum burning the heat which is released from that it contributed to a rise in temperature of 3 degree celsius so now we have to determine what is the value of heat which was generated so it is the sum of two separate heat entries this heat entries in both water and calorie meter so we have to take both of them right the heat uh, required for the increase in temperature of 3 degree celsius in the water and the calorie so the total heat 
which is generated by the burning of the petroleum fuel it is q1 which is the heat increase required by the water for rise in temperature of 3 degrees celsius and q2 which is which contributed to a increase in temperature of 3 degrees celsius in the calorie meter so q1 is simply mass of water present in the calorie meter specific heat of water and rise in temperature plus for the calorie meter we'll use the water equivalent in place of this okay in place of this we are going to use this and this okay so here it is water equivalent as we are using water equivalent so we have to use specific heat of water cw and in both of the water and calorie meter that is the same increase in temperature so again delta t so this is equal to mass of water 2000 grams then specific heat of water 1 calorie per gram per degree celsius rise in temperature of 3 degree celsius plus water equivalent 500 grams of the calorie meter specific heat of water again 1 rise in temperature of this much so it is equal to how much 7500 calorie okay so this is the amount of heat which is generated by the burning of the fuel which is the you know burning of petroleum now the mass of petroleum which is burnt that is equal to 0.75 grams so calorific value is the amount of heat generated per unit mass of burning of the fuel so here calorific value of the fuel is the amount of heat generated by the burning of the fuel that is petroleum by mass of the fuel which is burned so 7500 calorie by 0.75 grams which is equal to 10 to the power 4 calorie per gram so per 1 gram of the fuel which is burnt petroleum 10 to the power 4 calorie of heat energy is released okay so this is the very good question related to water equivalent where the concept of water equivalent is also utilized and the concept of calorific value and other related things okay so this is the